that needs a mod good afternoon youtube and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to take the console of the royal enfield himalayan here and i'm going to work on a way to try and get rid of that condensation stay tuned i'm going to take the one screen off here yeah now this is an aftermarket screen from skid marks i also have this gps mount fitted here so i'm just going to go ahead and pop that off three 10 millimeter bolts in behind here you can see this so all I'm going to do is just take these three bolts off. Little rubber grommets there. So you can just leave those in place because they're all the way through. Yeah. Then what we want to do is just disconnect this here. Ta da! Right then. So let's get this inside and see if we can get it dried off. Hopefully, at least semi permanently. Now, I've had it in for about an hour maybe just about an hour and a half so that condensation's already dried out inside there now when i take this apart i'm going to give it a bit of a clean up i'm going to leave it on the radiators you know maybe for an hour or so nice warm radiators just if there's any residual moisture just to dry it off the inside there on this side you'll see that there's several little screws around here just better be careful when we take this apart it doesn't take a lot of moisture in here to get that condensation in there you know as soon as that temperature shifts you're going to get some condensation but this seems to be completely sealed now it's entirely possible that there might be you know a little bit of glue missing somewhere or something like that but i really don't think so and these silver bezels these are on the outside you know they're, they're clipped on they're for sure more than anything to look for any areas where any potential moisture might get in i suppose it's possible that you might get something coming in through the the plug points here or through where the screws are now i don't really see that happening because they're really quite deeply recessed the gasket in here seems to be of a sort of foam material rather than rubber and to be honest i think that's probably your weak point i could be entirely wrong of course i want to just have a look at this as an example guys i do a lot of scuba diving yeah now this is a camera housing so i'm quite used to dealing with things that fog up yeah a little bit of my forte now if you look at the gasket here on anything that goes under water there's going to be a rubber gasket there yeah rather than a sort of foam material that's always going to be best but there's also if you see this on the front there's a vacuum pump system and that allows you to remove any air that's in the system before you jump in the water so that that temperature shift doesn't cause any condensation. Now, of course, on a unit like this, we don't have that kind of luxury. Again, another common issue when you're diving is that your mask will fog up and that will happen every time you dive unless you put something on the inside of this. Yeah. Now, what I do is I put soapy water in here before I dive. Some people spit in it or they spray a solution. And that just puts a little coating on there. I'm going to clean this housing. And then I'm going to clean it with a little bit of fairy liquid. Yeah. Now that sounds counterintuitive that we're adding moisture to the inside of this. So as I say, I'm a scuba diving instructor. Yeah. And this is a little trick we use on, you know, sort of scuba masks and stuff like that. I've got a tiny little bit of this sort of washing up liquid. Now, I do mean tiny. Yeah, I'm not slathering it on there. It's a bit smeared there. What I'll probably do is I'll just add a little bit of water to that just to smooth it out. Then I'll allow it to dry on the radiator. I'll put a little bit of water on this cloth. Now, that's looking pretty tidy, I must admit. Now, believe it or not, you can't see it, but there is a tiny little film of that, you know, washing up liquid on there. Yeah, which should hopefully in the future stop that from fogging up just quite so much. One of my subscribers gave me this idea. Now, if you don't have something like this, lying around you can use something like um fishing pole elastic yeah that's also a sort of hollow rubber let's see one of my uh, subscribers told me about this it was either henry or harley d it was about a week ago sorry i forgot guys it was one of the you're both always giving me great ideas so i'm going to thank both of you anyway <laughs> guys i've decided i'm going to keep the little foam gasket in there yeah and then I'm going to just run this little extra one around. Now, you people, you see people do this, they might use silicon or whatever. Just you do whatever you think right. I mean, you might not want to do any of this, yeah? You might not want to clean it with soap or whatever. Now, I'm taking my time because I don't want to damage anything. Because, you know, 
don't want to damage any of this obviously otherwise I'm going to need a new unit and that kind of defeats the purpose just make sure it's in nice and neat and nice and tight and it's not kinked or buckled but you can see there that that's a new essentially a new little rubber ring all the way around there yeah now folks you'll see people do different things and you'll read on forums people doing different things and they talk about you know drilling holes um, you know to allow more airflow and that'll stop the condensation well, that's undoubtedly true yeah or some people might you know add a bit of silicon around here sorry to sort of bang on about the scuba diving analogy but i think it's a good way to explain this if the mask were leaking and there was moisture getting in there I wouldn't put holes in it. I would make sure that the seal is nice and tight to my face, yeah? So I would tighten that up. And that's exactly what we're doing here. The key is to keep the moisture out. Now, you can silicon it shut if you want to. At the end of the day, that'll probably work. But for me, if this was going to start to leak, I would simply change the gasket. These things don't tend to leak on the glass or through the screws or anything like that. And I think that these gauges are probably the same in all honesty i really believe that this is the weak point here this little foam gasket sorry for the sort of rudimentary science here guys but these silica gels start out blue when they're dry and as they gain moisture they go pink eventually sort of red now you can recover them all you want to do is stick them in the microwave Put them in the oven. This has had about an hour on the radiator, and I've just allowed that soap to dry onto there. So as you can see, it's absolutely crystal clear. You wouldn't know that there was a little film of fairy liquid on the inside of that. Find a little space for this. Okay, it's going in there. You may want to use one that's slightly smaller than this, yeah. But to be honest, as long as you don't bust the bag. <laughs> you don't want silica gel all over the inside of your, your gauges there. So let's see how this pops back on here. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to screw this down nice and tight so that there's a good seal against that little rubber o ring that I've put in there. Folks, I know that was a little bit unusual, but it's something I know really well. Obviously, I'm not doing this in a vacuum. There's moisture in the air in here. So even though it's nice and dry, and putting that sealed unit back together again, there's still going to be moisture inside this. Yeah, tiny little amount. But that little silica bag in there is more than enough to soak up any residual moisture that's in the air inside this now. So you can let me know in the comments, folks, if this is something that you've had an issue with, you know, and how did you resolve it? Or have you resolved it? Have you put holes in it? Like some people to allow that airflow. Have you put a silicon bead around here to try and seal this up? Or have you done something completely different? Yeah, I'm hoping that this is the, the final result for this. But if it isn't, then I'll look at it again in the future. And I'll keep you posted on it. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next one.